Hello everyone, welcome back to another mini strategy for uh, Orcs Must Die. Now, as you see, I again started it and whatever to get it set up. Now, this is one of those bastard maps as I call them. They have an entrance there and all the way in the back, which we'll, we'll see in the course of the video, as well as two rifts. Okay? Now, this isn't as bad as you think, because the whole idea is you have to funnel them, right? Funnel them through here, push traps. Yeah, I know in my last video I said they're very situational, but here is one of those situations. See, they push into that. Now, I know you're probably wondering why I put them over there as well. Or you, well, I'm pointing out that I did. You see, for some reason, I've done this a couple of times, they just automatically break these, I think, after like wave four. So it's more of a preemptive measure. All right? Now, you want to funnel them, like just previously discussed, into a kill zone. This kill zone specifically. Yeah. All right, let's adjust that a little. Huh, it's a little laggy right now. I think perhaps it was having some fun. But uh, yes, the general idea here is to set it up so that this side is so well defended that they will not break through. The, you, they will not break through so you can handle the other side. And again, you know, there's a million different trap variations you can do with this. Oh, qu another quick tip. This coin forge is awesome in, a, in something like this because of the simple fact that, you know, they they have to walk on it. All you got to do is, you know, set it up to kill them. Anyway, let's unleash the horde. See, this at this point, they're going to be coming through the back, right? But here is a lot easier to handle, in my opinion, anyway. I almost feel like putting a coin forge. Can I put a coin forge in here, actually? Yes, I can. There you go. Come on. Come on. Give me money. Give me money. You know you want to give me money. Anyway, so as you can see, what you're, if that one side is so fortified, you can guard this. Because it's going to be very hard to jump back and forth between the two of them. I mean, on, diffi on apprentice difficulty, not so much. This is not a... Th and, but on higher difficulties... As you can imagine, it gets very, very bad. Now all I gotta do is wait for them to get onto the coin forge, and we're set. We're good. Come on, come on, come on, my little orc sausages. Come on, and put another one up here. They die on the coin forge. They get you more money. So in a map like this, where that is perfect. All right, see. Now, it's going to get a little intensive in a bit, so you're going to want to try some things. First of all, do that. As long as the orcs have a way through. Alright. Alright, it'd be better here then. So I'm going to move this back here. And, um... No, no, leave it there. Let me see if... Can I put something else eight here? My tar there. Good. Now, as I said, there's a million variations you can do on all of this. It depends on what traps you like to use. I just think this is a good strategy. You know, coin forge there, tar traps, grinders, and as you can tell, grinders, I like grinders. I'm gonna put an archer up here because I mean it just seems perfect for it. Almost Lord of the Rings -y. Now, where are they coming from first? They're coming from here first. So, I'm going to go here. Do this. Come on. Walk on. Give me monies. Give me monies. <laughs> anyway, now... That should be okay for a bit. I'm going to run... Now, I'm going to run o over here. Because this one is not as well defended. Not yet. They're going to run around one way, but they won't be able to get to the rift on that one side. See, they're going to have to run through here. That's right, that's right. See? So easy. Yeah, for some reason, it could just be me. I think it's get looks a little laggy. If that's the case, you know, I'm sorry. But, um... I really don't know what else to say to the head. Now, they're going to be doing that for a bit. I'm going to see if I can put some more archers up. Ooh, nice. ah, 
No, I'm not going to see level archers at the moment. I'm going to do this. Bye bye, evil guys. Anyway, so eight. Put that here and Last here. Why don't you put another grinder? All right, good. Come on. Come on. You know, I think I'm just going to let the traps do their job for a bit because it's, it's no fun if you don't. Is there anything here to worry about? No, just guys behind. Okay, six here. Now, is anyone getting through? Do 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 do. <laughs> oh God! Come on, you stupid bastards! Look at them. There's. They don't have a chance. They don't have a chance. Anyway, no. This. I'm just doing this for fun. What you would typically do in a situation like this is you would put that, that, and then tar traps, or you would put the incinerator there and the tar trap in the middle. Because, you know, that way, at least you, um... Come on. Come on, biggin. Come on. You want to die. You know you want to. Okay. That's done. Anyway, so that's handled. Let's go check the bottom. Now, like I said, this is on Apprentice, so... Huh. That is very weird. Oh, I think I know what the prop... what happened. What happened is, last time I did it, I put the three in front so they had to break through it. This time I didn't. Anyway, as you can see, this general type of strategy works, as long as you just play to the strengths of the room you're in. Come on, come on, Biggin. You know you want to go down. Now, see, these guys are the tough ones. You're not going to bring these guys down easy. And there you go. Now, remember, guys, if you like what you see and whatnot, you want to see more tips, more strategies, or you uh, just want to see me do a playthrough, just like, comment, subscribe, you know, the whole shebang. Let me know. See you later.